Hello everyone. We were just learning about arcs of a circle. What is meant by an arc of a circle? Now let's learn more about arcs. Uh, we have a circle here. Uh, let uh, O be the center of this circle. So this is the center O. Now uh, let's say that we have two points A and B in this circle. Right. And so AB is a minor arc of the circle because it is smaller in length. So this is called the minor arc of the circle. Now let us also consider this chord AB. So if you join uh, the two points A and B, we get the chord AB. So this is a line segment AB which is the chord of the circle. Now we know that if you connect the end points of the chord to the center of the circle on either sides that is A is connected to O here and once again B is joined to O. What do we have? We can say that this chord AB has subtended an angle at the center. So an angle is being subtended at the center. So now do we uh, mean anything by saying that an arc subtends an angle at the center? Of course yes. See. Now the chord is not here. So the same angle at the center is now subtended by the chord AB. Uh, by Sorry, by the arc AB. And this is the minor arc. So if you are talking about the angle subtended by the minor arc AB, that is this angle. Let me call the angle theta. Now what about the major arc AB? So we know that this is the major arc, isn't it? The arc which is lengthier, which is longer in uh, length is the major arc. And the angle subtended by the major arc would be the same, meaning this, the points are the same, the end points are the same, but the angle is going to be the reflex angle, this angle. That is, the angle subtended by the major arc would be 360 minus theta, right? So these are the two angles being subtended by the minor arc and the major arc. So now we notice one thing. If the arc is smaller in length, the angle subtended is also small. And if the arc is longer, by the length of the arc, I just mean that if you have a thread, a fine thread, which uh, passes through or which covers the arc. This is what we mean by length of the arc as of now length of the arc here means uh, you just take a fine thread and cover the arc and the length of that thread would be the length of the arc. So the longer the arc the greater the angle measurement. Now it comes to this question what about equal arcs? Now when will the arcs be equal? When will the minor arc be equal to the major arc? This will happen only when the circle is divided into two segments by the diameter. By the diameter, right? So if this is the diameter, if the same AB chord is the longest chord of the circle or the diameter of the circle, then you see that the two arcs, the major and the minor arc, both are equal in length. And what would be the length? Let's just say uh, the circumference, the length of the circumference is 2 pi r, right? Of any circle is 2 pi r, r being the radius of the circle. So what would be the length of this circle? half the circle or which is popularly called as semicircle right semicircle the length of the semicircle would be 2 pi r by 2 right which is equal to pi r and we all know we are very well aware that the diameter is a straight line that is the angle at the center for the diameter is 180 degrees so can we say that the angle subtended by the diameter at the center is 180 degrees, right? And it also makes sense because 180 plus 180, the total angle is 360 degrees. So now let me write that the length of the arc when it is pi r, when it is pi r, the angle subtended is 180 degrees, right? So this is also pi r, the length of this arc is also pi r and the length of this arc is also pi r, that is how it is 2 pi r, that is how the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. So the angle subtended is 180. So can we say that equal arcs subtend equal angles? This is for you all to ponder upon. Of course we already we have seen that equal chords of a circle subtend equal angles. 
now the question is whether equal arcs subtend equal angles at the center so let's think about it and uh, uh, further to this if i draw another diameter perpendicular to this diameter the already existing one that is the blue one i'm drawing one more diameter perpendicular to this i have divided the circle into four equal parts right and every arc also is equal me every arc i mean if i call the c and d arc ac is equal to arc cb is equal to arc bd is equal to arc da and what is the length of all this arc it would be equal to 2 pi r by 4 because it is divided into four equal parts so the length would be equal to pi r by 2 and what would be the angle the angle would be 90 degrees right as it, as it is we have taken perpendiculars and it is also 180 by 2 or 360 by 4 so the angle subtended by let me call this a quarter circle that was a semicircle pi r so this is a quarter circle so angle subtended by a quarter circle at the center is equal to 90 degrees I hope you followed thank you